Hey guys, it's Jimmy here and welcome back to another video. This time we're in Project Cars at the California Highway track in a Catrum Superlight R500 thingamajig. I'm not quite sure what it is. The fast Catrum, basically. Uh, now, the guys at Slightly Mad Studios have been very generous and provided uh, myself and the guys at Grip TV with uh, keys for the game, kind of poster or pre-release keys. And, uh, you know, I, I thought I owe it to them to kind of sort of do a video and talk about it a bit. So, obviously, when you're watching this video, keep that in mind and, you know, kind of go from there. But, yeah, we're in the rain here. I've put the time progression to times 40 because I, I kind of want to see how it reacts as you go from day to night. And, uh, you know, my, my wheel's set up fine now, so it should be good. And hopefully it'll be all right. Also, bear in mind that my graphics card is awful. It's a 650 Ti. It's a one gigabyte card. So you probably aren't going to see the best graphics in the world. But I'm going to talk about the driving primarily today. So anyway, manual gearbox. So into first gear we go. Bit up the revs. And away we go. Now, I don't actually know this circuit. I drove about... Well, not, I drove not very much of it. Just to get an idea of sound, etc. And uh, I'm in the, uh, the helmet cam. Ooh, which you can see now. Okay, it is definitely wet. The car is feeling a little bit twitchy underneath me. Brake, please. So I'm not going to be driving at full chat. I'm going to be sort of exploring the um, the limits of the grip and the road as we go along. You might see me spin a couple of times, but hey ho, you know, worst things happen in the world. I'm really looking forward to seeing how the um, the game looks as it goes from day to night. Because I have seen progressions before uh, on stream and whatnot, so I'm really looking forward to seeing how it looks in my game. Considering that you know my my graphics card isn't the best. Now, I am um, in the process of getting my 970, and so what I say in the process, I've got to wait for my uh, my friend to come and do it. But um, once that's installed, I can make another video show you, Ooh, showing you a comparison of how the two fare. And so far, I've got to say, I'm actually uh, somewhat impressed with the, the way this car is sliding around in the wet. There isn't infinite grip at all. You know, this does have road tyres on, so there is some grip in the wet, but there's not loads like. Shift up into fourth gear now and down to third. Using hill and turn on the way down. Not quite doing it very well. Wow, okay. And I can really... In this helmet cam, I get a good idea of when the car is about to slide, which is, you know, very helpful. Oh, that's sliding all the way through there. That's fun. Again, Project Cars is another game that has uh, got weather on it. And you know how much I love weather. Hence why we are driving in the wet here. And I'm, I'm liking these effects on the... Uh, on the visor as well. I used to ride a um, moped around. <laughs> you kind of laugh at that. But I used to have a helmet then. And, you know, these are uh, these water effects in the helmet. Oh, you get stuff like that. It's probably a little bit worse than this. But uh, obviously you want to make it sort of drivable for the guys out there. But we are only on the light rain setting. Maybe when the heavy rain it will be worse. I haven't actually tried out. Wow, it's okay. There's a jump there. I didn't know that. Being nice and easy now. Nice and cautious. Now, I actually drove this California Highway track a long time ago when I made my last video on Project Cars, which unfortunately didn't go down too well with the Project Cars fans. Uh, since then, I can definitely say, wow, it's improved. I feel a lot more through the wheel than I used to. I mean, I mean a lot more, you know, the, the, oh, look at those, that, that sun coming through. This game is definitely pretty. Like, I mean, that's what this game is known for, is, you know, the, the, the glorious E3 trailer and stuff like that really is a very gorgeous game to look at. Let me break them down now. Okay. I kind of have the advantage of sort of seeing where I'm going. It's nice holding it on the, um, the throttle for a lot longer. Yeah, I've driven a couple of cars in Project Cars. I mean only a couple. I mean, as time goes on, I'll probably drive some more. And if I enjoy the cars, I'll make some more videos on them. But the Catrum is a car that I enjoy. It's my sort of car. Lots of power, not very much grip. You know, very light as well. See if we can get the arse out a little bit here. Oh, okay. Yep, definitely wants to come out on you. Yeah, and after playing... No. There, oh, Jesus. I've got damage off, by the way, just so I can get around this. Again, that's something that I would rather save until I have a, you know, a representative graphics card that can sort of give me the full effect of what's going on, but... This is nice. I do feel like I'm in the rain a little bit here. This is, this is good. Over the hill again. It's so difficult with all these kind of blind crests to see where I'm going. So we're starting to see the sun come down now. You know, that time progression set to... Set to times 40. I've turned the lens flare off because that shit annoys me, to be honest. Come on, get round there. You beautiful thing. 
Like in the early gear shift. And it is, it's, I feel like it's getting wetter. Wow. Okay, that was tight on the thought it was. We're going to go in the barrier. Oh no, we just avoided it. Wow. Okay, that was. That was oh no, we've gotten off track. I timed the battle I don't know what we're going to say. So I do feel like I'm driving, you know, an American road. One of these kind of winding mountain roads that are so popular everywhere. In a car that has a little bit too much power for its own good. Let's step in it a bit, shall we? No, we've got to stop. No, we haven't. We can keep going. Fifth gear. Understeering in the wet. Car sliding a bit. Still understeering. Oh, okay. And then we've got a brake heavy. You can see the wall come in there. Now that, that is interesting. I was wondering if it would do that. Going in the tunnel, I had dry. It was dry. I had more grip. And as soon as I come out of the tunnel again, I started to slide. That's that's cool. That is 10 out of 10 for that. Slightly mad. Big fan of that. Trying to keep it. Oh, trying to keep it holy. Oh, we're actually on a highway now. Maybe we can open it up a little bit. Oh no, corner. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Do I have a sixth? Oh, I do. You know, you know, the progression is on, so things moving a little bit faster, but look how pretty that is! Wow! That, that is gorgeous. You know, um, I had a, a friend of mine talking about this to me earlier and saying how he, and I, I agree, how he really hopes they get more kind of content from um, you know, Le Mans, seeing as they are the official partners and whatnot, and this sort of weather system and this, this, you know, this glorious looking sky and whatnot in the Mon race would be excellent. I, also, I've got to say something. You know, I'm not running the highest settings. I'm running by average of medium settings. The game still looks great, and it's pretty solid in terms of performance. I'm not having any stuttering at all. Feels quite smooth. I can't tell you the frame rate exactly because I haven't got it up here. I'm recording at 30 frames a second just for the, uh, the sake of you guys. But it is good. It is good. We're going to start getting into night now because um, you know, that is the progression. I'm hope. I'm oh gee, sorry. Sorry, well, I don't, I'm not sure I've got any... Do I have any headlights mapped? If I do, I don't know what they're mapped to. What does that do? No, that's backwards. That's the left. Oh, that's change view. Okay. You can tell how much I've uh, experienced... Oh, that, that is something. What was that? That's my handbrake. <laughs> nice. Handbrake. Let's go. I'll get out of there. But, yeah, the, actually, while we're here, the external sounds quite nice. Look at those external sounds. The sounds are nice in this. They've, they've definitely come on a lot. I actually quite like this view as well, but we're going to go back in the helmet, because I, I like how it's muffled in the helmet as well. Oh, that was bad. Yeah, we do have headlights. This is great. This is awesome. I love this. I can barely see. This reminds me of why I used to drive around the uh, the lanes around my house at night, and I won't say what sort of speeds I do. Obviously, I'm a law-abiding citizen and whatnot, so I'd never dare go over the speed limit, but this reminds me of that. Not quite an American winding road, but... Pretty great. Come on, get round. Nice. Oh, touching the white line there. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, that's a mountain. Like I said, damage off for the purpose of this, so please don't judge it on that. Power! What's up? I'm sort of driving blind now. I can't really see how far ahead of me. Okay, there's a route up there. Let me up here. The road sign says it's going to be squiggly, so we're going to close, close it down a little bit. Not enough. Oh! How do we get away with that? Oh, I'm not going to get away with that though. Understeer. Okay, no, we did. Nice. Honestly, the physics come on a lot in this. They really have. And I I gave this game quite a harsh review back when I looked at it last time. And now that it's ready for release, now that we've got the thing designed out, it is looking good, you know? It's looking like it's going to be a lot of fun. I, I do have access to the career mode, so I might have a look at that at some point if you guys are interested in seeing what that does. I know this is a long straight now, hence why I'm, I'm talking. Um, I think that could be interesting. There are a couple of different scenarios there that you can look at. But for me, I know I always love driving road cars and sims. I have no idea why. It's just a little bit more interesting. To oh, a little bit more relatable. I don't know if it's a uh, 98 F1 McLaren, of course, but uh, that's that does. And they go across the line. 8 minutes 37 seconds. So, uh... Anyone out there fancy trying to beat that? I'm sure you will. 8 minutes 37 seconds. Come across the line there. And that is um, the, my, my first look at, at Project Cars for a long time. And I've got to say that I'm a 
I'm impressed. Uh, the release is fairly soon. I think it's the start of May, and I'll probably put a date on screen here somewhere because I'm not actually entirely sure when it is because I don't know. My brain's a bit like a sieve, unfortunately. I kind of forget a lot of things. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll try and put out a couple more videos before then to give you guys more of an idea of the game, see if you're interested in buying it, etc. Um, but you know, it's it's looking good. Definitely looking good. Anyway guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like button and of course hit that subscribe button as well for future videos. And uh, yeah, have a nice day. Catch you guys.